How's it going guys? It's AVFC Blogger here now today. Today is a very, very interesting one as today we are playing Leeds United at Ellen Road. And if I'm being honest with you guys today, I am not confident in the slightest. Our past two games, Le uh, Leicester last week and Brighton the week before, were two very sloppy and two very bad performances. And today we play a very, very good lead side, where if we make one or two mistakes, they will definitely, definitely punish us. Though we do sit 8th in the table, and Leeds do sit 12th or 11th, they are below us. I'm really not confident because they've got players like Bamford, Rafinha, Jack Harrison, some very, very good overall players. And with our, you know, recent run of four, all my recent runner performances. I'm not confident in today's game. Of course, with Greenish and Cash out, El Mahabadi's going to have one hell of a job to do with Rafinha on the left-hand side for Leeds. So I'm not sure if he'll be able to cope with him. And although, yes, I do sound very negative, this is the first time I've generally fought this season, apart from the West Ham game, you know, we're probably going to lose this. So hopefully the Villa do prove me wrong. Hopefully we do put in a, put in a defensive masterclass as, let's be honest, we're going to need one. Uh, yeah, I'm also using my first ever video with my new microphone, which I'm sure I'll be screaming down the mic today. So let me know if you guys think the quality is better, even if you think it's worse. And enjoy the game. Hopefully we win. Hopefully Villa prove me wrong. And hopefully we get a good result. All I'm asking for is a good performance. And yeah, come on. El Ghazi with the ball in there. El Ghazi! Five minutes into the game. I don't know if it's offside or not. He's not celebrating. He's looking at the linesman, but... I think we scored! And we're El Ghazi with the goal already, five minutes into the game. I think it was Watkins with a really, really good pass in, and El Ghazi just tapped it in, I think. Completely unmarked. And El Ghazi, he's already scored. Wow. Going into this game, I was not confident, and now we are already 1-0 up inside the first five minutes. So, um, that has helped my confidence. 1-0 up at Allen Road. Couldn't have asked for a better start. 20 minutes into the game and there hasn't been too many chances in this game. Martinez has made two or three decent saves. We've had two or three de half decent chances, but generally not the best. But, you know, in the midfield, around the pitch, we have been battling for it. Us and Leeds are both playing very well, actually, uh, giving each other a bit of a fight. Yeah, 20 minutes, can't complain. Defence has been pretty good, kept Bamford and Rafinha out the game so far, so hopefully it stays like that. I tell you what, I already said before the game this Rafinha should cause us trouble, but El Mahadi's had him in his back pocket. What can I say? And, um, yeah. We go Leeds on the left hand side. Rafinha loses the ball again. It's another one of our goal kicks. He's not having a good game this Rafinha so far. Honestly, our midfield has been strong. Of course, Barkley getting benched for Ramsey. But Nakamba, again, he's made a tackle there. He's been solid, Nakamba. When he's played, he's been better than Louise, to be honest. 35 minutes in, solid, solid performance. No complaints. Maybe attacking when we get the ball, when we go forward. We could be a little bit more threatening, but apart from that, we've been perfect so far. Rafinha, and once again, we close the play. We close Leeds' best players down, which was something we did not do versus Leicester. We gave them way too much time and space, and... We've improved, definitely. And then Watkins with the interception. Come on, son. Drive forward. Drive, drive, drive. 39 minutes into the game. He's still going. He's still going shot. And there's a save from Melier. But Watkins nearly ran the whole length of the pitch, nearly. He definitely ran from our box into their box. Header and Martinez comes out and claims it. And no chances for Leeds. Right. Half time. Aston Villa 1. Leeds United nil, and wow, before this game, I was really not confident versus Leicester, West Ham, and somebody else. We were awful coming into this game, and uh, Leeds were, obviously, a very, very dangerous and good side, and we are winning 1-0. We are matching Leeds in midfield. We are defending superbly, even though, yes, Leeds have managed to get a couple, you know, crosses into the box. We are still Toro Mings, Target still heading it away, like... Uh, uh, I don't know. El Mohamedi is dealing with Rafinha, who's done nothing. Bamford has got the ball a few times, but we're shutting him down. And we're matching leads perfectly. One thing I would say is when we're going forward, players like Traore do need to get involved a bit. Apart from El Ghazi shooting like, on the edge of the box, we haven't had too many chances. But we did take our one very important chance, which obviously was our goal. Yeah, there we go. 
first half, very, very good. Cannot complain whatsoever. We don't have Barkley. We don't have uh, Grealish. We don't have Cash. We've got a lot of players out. And, uh, yeah, we're doing very, very well. So, hopefully, it can stay like that in the second half. Ignore the state of my hair. It looks awful. I know that. But, anyway, uh, hopefully, we carry on like this in the second half. And, uh up the villa. Right, ignore the washing machine in the background, but I just wanted to show you guys this real quick. Because obviously I'm recording, this is now uh, my dinner. So, um, yeah, half time pie for the second half. Just like being back at Villa Park, half time pie. So, uh, yeah, but the second half is going to kick off soon. And uh, I'll meet my pie. Honestly, our defence is so strong, especially for the whole of this season. And in this game, it's been back to its best, even without Matty Cash. John Terry and Dean Smith have done such a good job because obviously this time last season uh, we were conceding every single attack that the enemy team had. So, uh, yeah. So I'm not complaining like a Call of Duty game, enemy team. I'm not really sure what's going on, but the past five or ten minutes, Leeds have been a lot more dirty, I guess you could say. They've had about five fouls where it's been blatant fouls and referees gave out three or four yellow cards. So, not really sure what's going on there, but... 65 minutes in, once again, not been too many proper, proper chances, but both teams have been battling, and uh, we're still 1-0 up, so let's hope we can keep it that way, we've got a free kick over by the corner flag now, so, come on, El Ghazi over it, oh, over the box, over, uh, over the box, over the bar by Tyro Mings, good ball in from El Ghazi, and, uh, yeah, El Ghazi into the box, literally passed to nobody. Oh, God, here we go. Leeds are on the counter stack here. They've got men forward. But Matt Target, again, with the superb challenge. And we've broke up Leeds' play. And they've got a throw-in. And that's what we love to see. Watkins across goal and no one could get there. We go 70 minutes in. Is this the chance for Leeds United? Nope. Away from Target, but they've still got it. Click. Away from Tyro Mings. Still got it. Away from Matt Target. And it should be okay. Dean Smith looks nice and smart today. Fini over the corner. Away again. Click. Out. And he sends it over the bar. Honestly, as I've said, we haven't had too many chances. But defensively, we have been on point today. Back to our best. We don't need Matty Cash. Do you, do you need Matty Cash? I don't think we do. We'll have El Mohamedy there. Jacob Ramsey, who's played very, very well today in midfield, play, uh, stepped in for Ross Barkley, obviously. Um, the Villa youngster himself coming off for Sanson now, but fair play because he was superb today. Come on. Yes! There we go. Aston Villa 1, Leeds United 0 at Ellen Road. Patrick Bamford's complaining to the referee, shut up, mate. You did absolutely nothing all game. Gareth Southgate at the... Um, at Ellen Road, he's got to know who the better striker is between Bamford and Watkins now because Bamford did nothing. Watkins was sick. Nakamba was sick. Ramsey was sick. Konza Mings, man of the match contenders for me. Oh, God, he was sick. Everybody was sick. So, there we go. That's all that needs to be said. Leeds played all right. They played some decent football, but we matched them in midfield, in defence. We matched them going forward, and we were superb. So, that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. We have done it. Aston Villa won, Leeds United nil. What a result after coming off a very after coming off a very poor performance versus Leicester. We now sit eighth in the table with a very good goal difference actually, and one game behind, two games behind nearly. So uh, yeah, up the Villa, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. <sighs> Come on.